You know, our customers clearly tell us that they have to get more work done today with the same or fewer number of people. When our customers use ANSYS in their simulations, they're really relying on us and, and our technology to allow them to, to keep their promise to their customers. Simulation-driven product development is all about putting the power of engineering simulation methods into the hands of our customers. In the past, a successful CFD simulation would involve looking at a proposed design, creating a geometry, a mesh, solving it, and then looking at the results, and asking, does this meet our product performance expectations? But that's no longer good enough. We provide a design of experiments approach that allows you to spawn off a thousand different design variations, all from one single user environment. And this allows you unprecedented productivity and much deeper product insight than ever before. ANSYS is a versatile software, can be used in lots of engineering aspects. I primarily working on two fields. One is the so-called uh, micro air vehicle. The other one is uh, so-called uh, um, the direct injection engine. So in summary, actually, uh, by using ANSYS for doing the direct injection engine design and study, it saves us uh, lots of uh, time and money, and also it provides uh, all the little details we need for study such kind of problem. At ANSYS, we understand that when you're in the engineering design process, you make changes. And we want to support those changes so that a change here follows through to physics, geometry, and mesh without you having to manually go back and reset parameters. At ANSYS today, we understand that the importance is on design optimization, not just design verification. And so to do that, we're developing a host of unique technologies. The Adjoint Solver from ANSYS is a unique shape optimization tool that really reduces the amount of simulations you need to run to get to the essence of your engineering problem. Adjoint methods allow us to focus on engineering parameters of interest, like lift, drag, pressure drop in a device. We've worked through the adjoint solver hurdles. We've worked through the inability to handle large cases. We've worked through how do you get the information you need out of it. We have that experience and we've been there. The power that we have in our CFD solvers to start with to give you a robust solution that's accurate and get it to you efficiently in parallel. So ultimately, I would say that all the innovation that we invest in leads to two big things. Much better product insight for your customers and continued consistent increase in productivity to your workflow and your engineering design process.